Today's challenge, a nervous rescue whippet whose fear of loud noises and cars <coughs> is threatening to ruin long-held retirement plans. You can't calm her down. She's in a state. Seriously limiting her owner's lives and driving a wedge between them. I'm not a person I wouldn't have one if I was on my own. It's definitely caused a riff, absolutely. It has kind of nearly broken us. In Aylesbury, retired couple Kim and Mike live with four-year-old Whippet Nelly, who they rescued two years ago. Nelly is my little doggy world. She's just the light of my life. Good. And I just feel a big failure because I can't fix her. <laughs> Nelly's big problem is Mike's biggest love, cars. Kim and Mike are planning a life on the road after retirement with Petrolhead Mike's beloved hot rod, Henry. He's totally in my life now. Being retired, it actually keeps me going, gives me a purpose. Sadly, Nellie's anxiety travelling in any car is so severe, it's impossible for them to go away as a family. Nellie's proper panty today. The car travel is by far the biggest issue. As a family, we like to go camping as much as we can. When your dog doesn't want to be in the car, that changes everything. Oh. Come on, Nelly. She'll start shaking, she'll pant, can't calm her down. She's in a state. Nelly's panting more or less immediately. And Nelly's fear also extends to any loud noises or busy roads. She's got this noise thing where it kind of freaks her out. Fireworks and thunderstorms. If I'm walking her down the main road and a noisy motorbike comes past, she'll stop. If there was a bang while she was off lead, who knows what will happen. Kim's tried everything to help Nellie overcome her anxiety around the car and loud noises. Yes, good girl. She's more my responsibility than Mike's. I do everything for the dog and Mike doesn't get involved. It's definitely caused a riff, absolutely. Which is heartbreaking for Kim, as her bond with Nellie has helped her through a very difficult year. Come on, Nellie. When my dad passed away, I get up every morning and she's there. It's just a constant the dog. Helps you through so many difficult times. So when the time that, that, that comes that the dog needs you to help her through a difficult time and you can't, then it's like, you know, it's a bit of a one-sided relationship, isn't it? She means everything, so I will do anything it takes. Thankfully, dog expert Victoria Stilwell is on her way to help this worried whippet. Today, I'm going to Buckinghamshire to meet with Mike and Kim, who love classic cars especially hot rods. Unfortunately, their whippet Nelly, not so much. And I think I know why, because hot rods are really loud, but I'm looking forward to meeting them to find out. Standing anywhere between 45 to 55 centimetres tall and weighing no more than 40 pounds, the whippet's sleek form makes it incredibly fast. Playful, loyal and active dogs, they're equally happy to curl up on the couch at the end of the day. But they can be sensitive and slow learners, so training and socialisation are important to avoid anxiety issues. This is Nelly. Hi, Nelly. <laughs> Come in. Already, it's clear just how grateful Kim is to have Victoria's help. Okay. Thanks so much for coming. Well, you're welcome. And um, wow, she's beautiful. Why did you bring me here? Well, she's got a noise thing, hasn't she? Yeah, she, she doesn't she's... like loud noises. The, the noise issue, does that affect outside when she's on a walk? When we're out on the main road and we're walking along, if a motorbike goes past and it's loud, she'll stop and she'll follow it round. I don't know what she would do if we were out in the field. My fear is that she would just run 
and she would just bolt, you know. Okay. Travel issue. It's a, it's the issue in the car with Nelly. We've got two cars. We've got our, our daily, so to speak, and we've got a hot rod car. I've been training uh -huh. with Nelly. I've tried everything that I possibly can. We just can't take her anywhere with us in the car. In the, in both cars. in both cars. Yeah. 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 Short trip in the Mondeo. We can get to the dog parks around here, but in the hot rod, she doesn't want to know. How is this affecting you? The car thing is. Massive, you can see that I get emotional talking about it. It affects me because it restricts us, you know, from a selfish human point of view, you know, for like birthdays and anniversaries and things. We don't buy presents, we go away somewhere. And not being able to do that as much is horrible. We were due to go camping, which we'd all booked in for. We'd kind of Fallen out, I suppose, had yeah, words, we, and it's like... We weren't in a good place no. as well. Okay. So I think that enhances that. Well, I'm going to observe. I don't want to put her in the car. I don't need to ride in the car with her, but I'd like to ride in the hot rod, see what it feels like, how loud it is. Absolutely. And we'll just take it from there. In order to understand why Nelly is so afraid of cars, particularly the hot rod, Victoria wants to experience it for herself. Okay. Ah, Victoria, here he this is. is Henry. This is not inconspicuous, is it? No, no, it's in your face. Wow. Can I get in it? Oh, OK. And start it? Go on, then. That's it. You've got to press the throttle a bit. Whoa. It is really loud. Yeah, it is. It's a bit loud. How long would she be in this car for? It could be a couple of hours. Quite vibratory yeah, right no, now. Well, how many times has she ridden in this? 20, definitely, more than 20. And in each time she reacts the same? Yes, definitely. Do you think you're being fair to Kim by getting annoyed with the dog? I can't help that, you know? And the plan was to actually drive the wheels off of Henry and uh, we need to go out and have fun in him. What would happen? If this car is truly just too much for her. We'd have to come to a compromise. But if she could fall in love with Henry, fantastic. All right. Well, I love Henry. Well, that's good. Yeah. That works for me. <laughs> yeah. He is rather special. Wow, oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Lovely. All right, then. Well, let's go back inside. OK. Next, Victoria wants to see how nervous Nellie reacts to noises on her usual walking route. Very loud. It is very loud. With motorbikes, with lorry noise. This is a lot, isn't it? It's a lot to take in for her, yeah. Good to see it, but yeah, those those ears are so back on her head. Yeah. She's not having fun right now. No, she does start to pull a little bit more. So she wants to just go yeah. forward and get it over and done I with and get so, out. I think so, yeah. All right, well, yeah, this is definitely very busy. It's too loud even for me. So let's, we'll, we can go back. OK, we we'll go, go back. back. With observations over, it's time for Victoria to give her verdict on poor Nellie's anxieties. Why do you think she behaves in the way that she does in the car? I can only assume something not very nice happened. Other than that, I don't know. And you could be right, right? Yeah. We don't really know what her history no. background, we know that it wasn't the best. I think the headline here is that she does not feel safe right. in the car. Sound sensitive dogs sometimes don't do well in cars. What do you think the hot rod sounds like? What, what, is, what does it sound like to you? I think it sounds good. It's obviously loud, but it's, it's a nice loud. With her sensitive hearing, that's almost like you put some drums right by your ear and go bang, 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 yeah. bang. A dog can hear up to around 45,000 hertz, which is very, very high. They also have ears like satellite dishes. They have 20 plus muscles in their ears, so they can move their ears around to gather sound. And that's what she's doing. With a sight hound as well, you haven't just got the sound of this, which is just this cacophony that does not stop. You also have that, like, visual stimulation of just things going past really fast. Third thing, the instability. I think the reason why she can't settle is because her 
body is uncomfortable, the other car less so. Yeah. It's not as loud. But I don't think that you can even go close to that hot rod yet. Mm. I think we need to work with her in the other car yeah. to get her used to that. Totally agree. Yeah. Totally agree. Totally. OK. Mike and Kim are retired. They want to go on trips and experience the world with their dog, and they can't because she doesn't like being in the car. I really, really want to make it work for them all. In Aylesbury, Victoria is helping Kim and Mike with their beloved rescue whippet, Nelly. Before tackling her fear of the car, Victoria's keen to work on solving her sensitivity to loud noises on a walk. There is a difference between actively listening to a noise and passively hearing it. OK. When we hear a loud noise, we orient towards it, we're actively listening to the noise. But then we go back to passively hearing noises. That's how we work with dogs with noise with sensitivity. OK. We turn them from actively listening to a noise to passively hearing it. Victoria's plan is to turn Nellie's focus onto something else, games. One of the best games is to go find it. Yeah. If you see a motorbike, for example, you play the game before the motorbike gets close. But the way you play it's really important. So you're gonna go, ready? And then it's your voice is like, find it, and find it, right? So that's number one. Number two is the scatter feed. Noise goes woo, right? Okay. If you do see a motorbike, all of a sudden stuff rains from the sky. It's amazing. Now for a technique Kim can use when Nellie's off lead. I like them to chase things. Of course, she's a whippet, and I got another toy here that I put on a string. So, um, again, just another... What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, oh, oh. What's that? Oh, my, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the best game for these kind of dogs. Right, OK. <laughs> Good girl. And so, play with it, Mum. <laughs> Uh, isn't it fabulous? Oh, my goodness, what a good girl. I'm trying to associate scary noises with games right. and activities and fun things. Do you see what I mean? Yes. So, Mike, you take that string now. Yep. And I want you just to play with her. Interesting. Do you play with her a lot? Not a lot, no. There you go. <laughs> she, she's not used to it. Nice. And I think it's really important to build up this relationship between you and her, because then she's going to trust you more in Henry. Yeah, it makes sense. So, your homework too is to play with her. We can do that. All right? Yeah. You're awesome. No problem. Well done. Next, it's time to help Nellie begin to conquer her fear of driving, starting with their less noisy car before they can build up to the hot rod. And Victoria has made some adjustments which should hopefully make her feel more settled. So, here we are by the car. Right. Now, I really like the way that you'd put the shade on, and I've done the same on the other side, but it just mutes that sight for her, OK? That visual stimulation yeah. that I think is contributing to the anxiety. Now, I'm going to open this. Okay. And inside, you're going to see the bed. Underneath the bed, there's quite a solid foundation so that she feels a bit more balanced. OK. So, do you want to try it? Yes, we do. OK. <laughs> Giving Nellie a big, sturdy bed will hopefully make her feel safer in the car. Time to see what she thinks. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Nice. Good girl. Good. That's nice and poofy, isn't it? Good girl. Wound your little face. Good girl. Pretty comfortable in there. A little shaky. But um, I'm going to go around and sit next to her whilst you drive. We're only going to go about five minutes. OK. And we don't go above 30 miles an Excellent. hour. Excellent. Let's right? do it. Hi, Charlie. Hi, little one. 
Oh, I wanted to have a little bit more. There. So the lead is quite loose. Okay. The harness is quite loose. It's still going to protect her if something happens. Right, OK. But it's a bit looser. Brilliant. And already, she's not straining against it. OK, that's good. Very clever girl. Almost sort of just doing that, okay. she's less shaky with it. She right. can move around a bit more. So that tension has inadvertently caused yes, more Yes, I think stress. so. I really think so, because she was pulling against it. I let it out a little bit. It's a bit like night and day, I have to say. Oh, very good girl. And I'm keeping it nice and light, keeping my voice nice and light. Right. I tell you what, what's good about this bed is her back legs are moving really well. Are they? Yep. And remember, I've made the um, the floor of the bed really quite sturdy. Brilliant. And again, that longer lead, that seatbelt lead, is, is lengthened. Excellent. I'm telling you, her body completely changed when wow. I did that. That's incredible. Yeah. One, one uh, little tweak. I want you to tell a good girl. What a good girl. Oh, yeah. You're a good girl. That was fun, wasn't yeah. it? Miss Nelly, you did pretty well. So proud of you. So how did you feel with that? She still wasn't brilliantly happy, happy in the car, but so much better. That was, what, five minutes? Yeah. And that's like a whole leap ahead improvement already so genius twice a know. day maybe five minutes at a time yeah. mike drives you sit in the back yeah and then when you feel like she's more comfortable then you can increase it maybe. oh thank you so much you're That's very lovely. welcome all right let's much take her back in good girl. come on nelly you did very well what here we go this girl. way there's a good dog practicing short trips every day will build up nelly's confidence in the car over time and when she's happier on the back seat, camping trips will be back on the cards. Before she leaves, there's time for one final pep talk from Victoria. I think it's fitting that I leave you here, because I'm rather in love with this car. <laughs> and, you know, one day Nellie might, I'm not saying will, Nellie might like him too. She's such a sensitive dog. She's an amazing dog, and you've done so much good work with her. But now it's not just going to be you working with her, it's going to be you working with her, Mike. I'm um, up for the challenge. So good luck. I will be checking in on you. All right? You. All right. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye, Victoria. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. I'm full of hope now, absolutely full of hope. We've got to put the work in. Yeah, I feel uh, real motivated to put the effort in. Teamwork. Team, Team Nelly. <laughs> 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 Over the next four weeks, Mike has been helping Kim play lots of noise distraction games with Nelly. Yeah, it's amazing. And they've been taking daily short trips in the car. And she is taking treats. Good girl. And now Victoria wants to check in on Nelly's progress. Hello, how are you? Hi, Victoria. We're fine, thank you. So, how's it been going? It's been really good. How are Nelly's sound issues? Out on the road, much better. Yeah, definitely improving. Let's get to that car. Okay, because obviously so. that's the big thing, isn't it? And yes. uh, tell me how that's been going. It's taken her a while to get it, I think. It's slow, gradual progress, but it is progressing. So small steps, but getting better. OK. I would like you to do less driving and just give her a nice treat party in the car. Do that a couple of times a day, and then maybe one trip a day, and then okay. gradually build it up. Okay, the biggest success story is my lovely husband. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can tell they're buddies now. <laughs> so yeah. Isn't that nice, Mike, that you do have a bit of more of a relationship with Nelly now? Yeah, definitely, it's, it's much better. I can't lie, you know, it's, it's really good, so. It's proper commitment. Yeah. I'm feeling positive, yeah. Mike's feeling positive. I truly think that slow and steady is going to win this race. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Well, it's it's been an honour, so thank you guys. And loads of thank love you. to you. Thank you. Thank All right, you. take care. Bye. 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 It is so lovely to see that Nelly is getting help for her anxiety and that Mike is helping out too. 
Kim and Mike both have to understand they've got to be really patient. And I think especially with the car, as long as they continue what they're doing and they take it very slowly, it's not going to be long before they are all going to be able to enjoy car journeys together. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.